So you've gotten out duck hunting and you had some success, but now what? You could breast out a bird, which is what many people do, or you could pluck the entire duck, which leaves the skin intact and gives you the opportunity to utilize the entire bird. I like doing it this latter way because it also gives you one of the most valued parts of the duck, its fat. Today I'll show you how to pluck a duck and then use paraffin wax to get a really clean bird that presents beautifully on the table. I've been plucking ducks since I was a young kid because that's the way my dad taught me to do it. By all means, you can breast out a bird, but if you want to get the most out of it, here's how to do it. For equipment, you'll need a few things. A good knife, kitchen shears, a bag to catch the feathers and entrails, and then a pot that you can use to melt the paraffin wax. You can find paraffin wax in the canning section of a hardware or big box store. A pair of gloves can also be helpful, but they aren't really necessary. The benefits of these bumpy latex gloves is that they help clean off the down from the skin of the bird. But we're gonna wax this bird, so they aren't really necessary. Step one is to pluck all the feathers from the bird. You can start on the back, the breast, the legs, or the wings. It's really up to you. I generally start on the breast as it contains the greatest amount of feathers. Pull the feathers against the grain, but be gentle as the skin of the duck is rather thin. Work your way around the bird and up the neck. I like to move to the back after the breast and then to the wings and finally the legs. You'll notice the difference between the outer feathers and the down underneath them. Since we're going to dip the bird in wax though, we don't need to worry about removing all of the down. The wing and tail feathers are bigger and more challenging to remove. So only pull a couple at a time. And again, try not to tear the skin, but don't worry if you do. Now that our bird is plucked, I'll remove the head and the wings. About halfway up the neck, cut through the skin with your knife, and then use the game shears to break through the bone of the neck. Then cut the wing at the first joint. Again, you could use the game shears, but I generally just cut through the tendon at the first joint. Once you cut through the skin, it's pretty easy to find the tendons and snap off the wing. The next step is to dip the bird in the paraffin wax. Melt one block if you're doing one bird or more if you have several. Heat the pot enough to melt the wax, but don't bring it to a boil. I leave the feet on the bird as I use them as handles so that I can dip the bird easily into the wax. Some people leave the head on the bird and dip the bird in feet first. This way you don't get any of the exposed or cut parts in the wax. I just find my method of removing the head and using the feet as dipping handles is the easiest. After getting a coating of the wax on, you can dip the bird in a bath of ice water. I then dip the bird an additional time in the wax to get a thick coat on it that's really gonna hold the feathers firmly. After cooling the bird, it's time to peel off the wax. This can be the fun part of the process as you're unwrapping a clean bird that's starting to look more like a great meal. After you've removed the wax, you can cut off the feet. Score the skin right where the plucked skin meets the tough foot area, but don't cut through the tendons. You can then break the foot backwards and then loosen up the tendons by wrapping the foot around the joint. Then pull the foot away from the leg and it will come off with the tendons intact, making for better leg meat. Lastly, we'll gut the bird and clean out the body cavity. Make a cut just below the rib cage and directly above the vent. Then take two fingers and reach up into the cavity and pull the entrails down towards you to remove. Again, if you want to utilize as much of the duck as possible, you'll want to harvest the heart, liver, and gizzard from the entrails. Lastly, I remove the tail of the bird. It's usually pretty fatty, so if you want to, you could render the fat from it. Now you've got a fully clean bird that's ready for cooking or the freezer. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Modern Carnivore channel and also check out the rest of our educational content at Hunting Camp Live. That's huntingcamp.live.